Hey yo everybody, I'm Nick and welcome back to the final episode of Pokemon Sapphire Extra Episodes! Uh, today's last episode just takes on the final area we have yet to tackle in the game. We kind of have to go up uh, this little path, and yes, this little place is called the Sky Pillar. There is one mandatory key item though, if you... Uh, that you'll see in just a little bit. But well, I have a repel active right now. But in this place, you can find things like Golbat, Claydol, and even later on, uh, even Wild Alt Altaria on the top floor. And, uh, yep. Welcome to needing the mock bike. And I fucked up. Of course, you can't really land on the rocks because that's where all the cracks are or other rocks, specifically. Oh, I gotta remember. Oh, well, we made the first floor. Yeah, it's basically nothing but this. So, uh, if you're playing Emerald version, though, you have to go here as a mandatory part of the story. So, and the cracks won't be there the first time around. So, have fun with that one. Oh, the, the, this, the spike section is pretty tight. And since you have to use the mock bike, it gets kind of tight. Just gonna put that out there. And I'm doing this with the crappy GameCube D-pad, so... Nope, messed that one up again. And the encounters in this place, in Ruby and Sapphire anyway, are the highest levels you'll find for wild Pokemon in the entire game. They should at least be higher, they should be like mid... Oh, no, but here's one that's actually level 50. Oh boy, I forgot Sableye is here too. Yeah, these levels aren't exactly a joke, if I can uh, say that for sure. But since level 50s are pretty much a rarity, I turned too soon, god damn it. Ugh. Anyway, you'll find Mawile if you, uh, you know, playing Ruby version and whatnot. And I don't think you're able to find Altaria if you're playing the Emerald version of this place, so that's a thought. Luckily, with the exception of Golbat, I can run away from all of these because these are normally pretty slow. Uh, damn it! Uh, I turned it just a few frames too soon. Fuck. If this gets too bad, I may have to cut. You know because I should stop talking and concentrate and, you know, keep getting into random fights. Forgot Bayonet's here too. Oh shit. No, let me get away. I have nothing that'll actually keep these fuckers away. Because, you know, my Pokemon are higher level than all the legendaries right now. And the only one I do have ties with all my Pokemon with Latios at 50. Fuck. Oh well. At least it's not like I'm actually losing all that much. There we go. That's the exact point. You have to land on those two tiles if you want to make it. Go too far and plummet you go. And those will be your return tiles. That was the last uh, part of uh, Sky Pillar, and there's only one last thing waiting for us at the very tip top. You saw it in the video title. That's right, our last legendary is Rayquaza. Uh, and I'll actually get to it if these uh, encounters will let me get there. Holy shit. Leave a, leave a, leave a person alone, man. There's the Altaria I was talking about it. Anyway. Holy shit, level 60? Oh my god. I forgot the encounters even got this high. Oh my god. Ooh, they ain't let me get away that easy. We this is like the place to level grind if you want to just grind on encounters, and I have to revive shit engine now. At least I have those. Fingers! Fuck you. Fuck you. I had a plan and everything. And you delayed it by like seconds. Come on, man. 
You're better than this. Alrighty. Well, there's the big bag himself. And you know the drill by this point. Save before every single legendary encounter in the game. Because you only get one shot, and unlike later, later generations, they do not refresh. Keep this in mind. Also, Blue Sky, hello there, how you doing? And since you've heard this music before with Groudon and Kyogre, I'm just gonna start talking. Yup, Akaza is level 70, and I have a strategy for this. So, just to explain, I use my PP Max on Protect. The only move that Rayquaza can hit Shedinja with is Fly, and I can protect at any point. And because of the massive level difference, I, I bought two X attacks just to uh, see if I can actually damage the goddamn thing, because it does have rest. And so it's just blowing its extreme speeds right now. Because, oh! Here's this is the strategy in play Because I can just protect and since it uses uh, And since fly is a two-turn move He can't touch me <laughs> Bitch and now I gotta see how this uh, double-powered shadow ball does oh Boy This is gonna be a ride that's for sure Ooh, uh, what can I say about this? Uh, if you remember the guest I had for the finale, uh, Nick, uh, he really liked Rayquaza a lot, and uh, whenever we Link battled, he would use it quite a bit, but I'd still do, do just fine, and fuck. A second Shadow Ball kills you! Oh no! Oh no! Anyway, that's, that's just like, well, Ice Beam is very good. Uh, that's a shake. Anyway. Yeah, Ice Beam's good and stuff. And that's where you learn that lesson, if not against Lance, against buddies who use dragons against you. But I also use Jirachi, so, uh, I have no shame. I have no shame. Because Generation 3 overall is really what got me into liking Pokemon. Like, I played it before, like, with Generation 1 and 2, but 3 is really where I hit my stride. It also didn't help that all my po my previous Generation games got stolen, as this is the first... Yeah. This is the first Generation in which none of my the copies of my cartridges got stolen or lost. Because my Gen 1 and 2 cartridges were stolen, with the exception of Yellow Version. That one was actually gifted to me from an old friend of mine. Uh, Generation 4 are all my originals. Gen 5, I kept losing my Black and Black 2 versions, so I've had to buy those several times over, and then Gen 6 and 7 did not have to be rebought. Yeah, it was primarily Gens 1, 2, and 5. Though I have all of them now except for Ultra Moon. Which I'll... Wait. What the fuck? Fingers. How did... Wait, what? Did I use... What? I'm confused. It's every other turn. Okay, this just made things interesting. Oh, there go my boosts. Fuck. Oh boy. This could get ugly fast. Because <laughs> that's what I was banking on for this uh, entire fight. Oh no. Oh, Agron gonna die. Wow, you're not dead yet? <laughs> I was expecting that to be a one shot. Oh, oh no. Ooh, uh, yeah. At least now that you're in this range, if you're confused, you won't kill yourself. Maybe I should have bought more than two X attacks. That's what resets are for. 
Wait. Does the protect carry over if it uses fly again? If I... That's so weird! That's so weird! Fuck you guys! Damn it, Game Freak. Why do you have to be such bastards? I had a strategy and everything, man. Oh, you ruined it. Fucks. Oh, now the Shadow Ball is going to be so wimpy. But at this point, you've basically seen everything uh, Rayquaza has to offer. <gasps> I have to rely on crits if I want that same damage. The rest is like 20 PP. This is so fucked. Wait. It doesn't restore its confusion when it rests. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, my ethers are going to get tested here. This is so fucked. You know, at this point, huh, I don't really have any more stories about Rayquaza other than the one I hatched at my randomizer. What the fuck was up with that? Jesus. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. Here we go again. Alright. Sorry, just... Got a quick message there, but yeah, at this point, I will see you guys in just a bit when I actually snag the damn thing. Fingers. Yeah! We got the 1 HP sleep swag catch! And I only had to redo the fight once! Fuck yeah! And I'll have uh, shown some neat stuff here, just like in the cut where it's just like, oh, I tried to throw a Pokeball at Rayquaza while it was flying, and it works, unlike future generations. Like, it's actually hilarious because like you can't see where the Pokemon is which you know makes a whole lot of sense among other kinds of nonsense and I also kind of figured out that using other moves when it uses fly a second time in a row or something like that or at least after it flies the first time makes it so I can guarantee protect the second time yeah at least that's where my logic with that went so uh yeah, this was everything that you could do in Pokemon Sapphire. I believe that's just about everything. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, going on this ride with me. Going on this ride with a crazy ass Shedinja, because what the fuck is wrong with me? And uh, I think I've got a, something else a little uh, special in store for uh, starting uh, next week. Yeah, that should be fun. Specifically, it's The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomized. So, uh, hope you guys have fun with that. I've been wanting to get back to Ocarina of Time for a while, but I kind of wanted to do things a bit differently if I went back. Though, if you guys want me to resume the original run, just let me know via comments, Twitter, or whatever. If you want it, I'll redo it. But for now, I want to do the randomized run since I've gotten through most of a seed and it's looking like it runs just fine on my computer. So yeah, I'll see you guys with that. I'm a Nick, 
and I'll see you guys next time.